Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Adam Bergman's Money Makers. And we are live and direct from the studio in lovely, sunny Brooklyn, New York. What great weather we're having right now, but not as great as my appreciation for every single which one of you and the absolutely amazing support that I've been getting. We're at 223 subscribers in just over two weeks. I wanted to say I truly do appreciate every single which one of you. Guys, I'm gonna follow another stock today. It's called Lilium. The ticker symbol is L-I-L-M. I did two videos on them previously, and they are in a field called EVITAL, which stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. It's an electric jet. Now, most projects in the EVITAL space look like drones, right? Something or single man drones, it's, it's nothing cool. This Lilium Jets is actually luxury jets where you have one actual pilot and then you can either have a row of two, 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 so six passengers if you want to use it for taxi services, or one pilot, you can have two and two and in the middle you can have tables if you want a little bit more of a luxury ride for maybe personal use or chartered use, sightseeing possibly, a business meeting maybe, and then you can have one pilot and an open deck in the back that you could be using for, for delivery, food delivery, technology delivery, goods delivery, whatever type of delivery, all different types of delivery. So obviously you can see the TAM is huge. Now I only started following this company recently because it is backed by Palantir, one of my biggest plays. However, the more I do research, the more I see this company is amazing. The only thing is, it's a proof of concept right now, so you don't know if they're actually gonna be able to deliver their vision. However, this is true of all startups, and this was most certainly true of a company like Tesla. You didn't know if they were gonna deliver because their revolutionary thoughts on EV, yeah, EV existed, but you had like Priuses, it was garbage, nonsense, nobody wanted to drive that. Now, having a Tesla, you're the cool person, right? So that's what's happening right now with Lilium. And I honestly think that we're getting in super early because the market cap is right around that 1.3, 1.4 billion dollars. That's really nothing. It's not that difficult for this company to skyrocket to 10, 20, or 30 billion. And their proof of concept becomes now a proof of action. What does that mean? Currently, they signed a deal in Spain that they're actually gonna be doing full test flights of their jets. There was a short seller that came out around two weeks ago and they said that Lilium is overstating their battery power, that they cannot get their full 150 mile trip. Now Lilium says most of the power needed is on the takeoff and the landing. When you're actually in the air gliding, you don't really need to waste so much power. The point is I'm doing a lot of research for this company and I believe that if it actually gets to market, there's gonna be a one of a kind leader in this space because it's gonna be first to market custom luxury type of jets. There's nobody that makes this. Nobody wants to fly around in a freaking drone. You're not in Star Wars. You're still in America. You're still in the 21st century. A lot of my subscribers always ask me, Adam, how do you find stocks? How do you do your due diligence? How do you do your research? And I guess, and I give you my secrets all the time. People are just not listening or watching. And this is one of the things that I do. This is also one of the things why I love my YouTube channel because I get to do stock research and I get to do crypto research and general finance research all day long. And I'm starting it as a business and actually getting paid to do something that I absolutely love, adore, and this is why I absolutely cherish being able to speak to you guys on the other side of the lens. And that's a fact, Adam. And one of the best ways to do research is just read articles. So this article that I'm going to read you right now is actually from May 2021. And yeah, the article might be old to a lot of people. However, it's brand new to me with the information that's contained in this article. It is all brand new to you guys as well. And I don't see too many people covering Lilium. I think I'm one of the only ones. So if this thing by chance blows up, hopefully this channel will blow up as well. And you gotta love that it's backed by Palantir. And I could honestly see the connection between Palantir and Lilium and how they use Palantir's foundry software to improve their capabilities via the oncology or the digital twin that Palantir allows them to make. 
And this is how they dissect and reallocate the data that they have to make them more efficient or much less inefficient. German electric aviation startup Lilium is aiming to sell its seven-seat Lilium jet for an initial unit cost of 2.5 million, according to documents filed as part of the U.S. stock market listing. And I quote, at launch, we expect jet unit cost of approximately $2.5 million, which we anticipate will decrease as we scale up our manufacturing operations, the document says. If you noticed, that is exactly what happened with Tesla. Tesla's prices actually got reduced as their capabilities increased. Things changed now with the supply chain constraints. However, they did reduce the prices of the Tesla. It forecasts that a single jet will generate a profit of $10 million over its eight year lifetime based on an annual revenue of $5 million and 25% margin. I guess they're taking into account fixing repairs and you know some other things. That's why a jet will cost $2.5 million, but they're actually gonna be getting $10 million over the course of eight years. However, in order to achieve its return, each vertical takeoff and landing aircraft needs to cover approximately 1,500 miles per day or approximately 20 to 25 flights with an average of 4.5 out of the six passenger seats filled, generating approximately $15,000 of revenue per day. While the company's initial focus is on a seven-seater, accommodating six passengers and one pilot, a larger version is already under consideration. You see, I didn't know this information. And this is why I love reading articles. And sometimes old articles give you new information. This happens all the time. Again, this might be old news for somebody else, but it's definitely brand new news to me. And I'm educating myself. And in order to be a good investor, you need to educate yourself as much as possible. Now that I know how much their jets cost or the projected price of their jets, I can now start multiplying it by some contracts that they have or possible contracts that they have. They do have a possible contract for selling 150 jets. Now, if that contract goes through, I now know 150 jets times $2.5 million with an average cost of $10 million of revenue for those 150 jets over the course of eight years, right? You start doing some mathematical formulas. And I quote, Lilium intends to also create a 16-seater version of Lilium jet based on the same architecture and technology which could drive this unit economics even higher. It adds, while noting that there is no guarantee such an aircraft will be developed. So they have plans to expand, but they have no idea if this is actually going to be happening. And this is a nice rendering in the Lilium Jets, but it actually does look like that, the Lilium Jets. And I showed you a lot of videos about it. The reason why they don't know if it's going to ever go to scale is because they're not going to be producing it anytime soon because first they're going to be producing their proof of concepts, then they're going to have a proof of action, and then they will have a proof of conception for their new different types of jets that are going to be coming out. It, does this sound familiar? Does this sound like Tesla, where Tesla first came out with the Roadster, proof of concept, then they had proof of action where they started coming out with the Type S, and then they started coming out with their other three models. Now what are they doing? They're rolling out with the Cybertruck. Do you get where this is going? That's why this company reminds me so much of Tesla. They do have a lot of room to grow, and their TAM, total addressable market, I have no idea what it is because this is a brand new field, an emerging market, and it's really nice to be able to invest in a first to market in an emerging market. Charging should take maximum 30 minutes or 15 minutes to get an 80% charge. 30 minutes, that's pretty fast actually. No details of the battery provider have been revealed, but the documents describes it's at a le leading battery technology supplier. Lilium has secured exclusive rights for the Evitol market for this chemistry. Chief Technology Officer Alistair Mc McIntosh has previously indicated that a maximum takeoff weight of 7,000 pounds, of which 30% is batteries. And then they go in to talk about some production. It says annual production of Lilium jets will also increase from 90 units to 325 units to 600 units, ending at 950 units by 2027. So now you have a little bit of a plan. And again, I didn't know this either, but now you have a plan over the course of the next five years. You know what they're trying to develop and you know if they're going to reach their numbers or not. Again, very much akin to Tesla. And now Tesla has these gigafactories that can produce so many different Teslas. I actually just watched Elon Musk and Cyber Tesla in Texas. I got to make a video. And I quote, a future more simplified pilot license which takes into consideration the high degree of aircraft automation and a full range of its capabilities will ideally be developed and utilized to train air crew to operate the Lilium jet and other Evitol designs. Guys, so... 
I read this article. Now I know how much they're going to charge. Now I know what they believe their reoccurring energy is going to be. Now I know what they're trying to accomplish with the production. And now I know what they're trying to do for a moving statement. And that goes into two. A reduced, a reduced pilot's license, right, for these EVITOL jets is what they're trying to do. And you see that they have future growth, that they might do a 16-passenger jet instead of a 6-passenger jet. So I got so much information from this article. So this video is going to kill several birds with one stone. The first one is going to give you information about Lilium. The second one is going to do is going to tell you my insight of what I think people should be doing in order to do research for stocks, for crypto, for real estate, for anything. Read articles and understand what is happening in current events in the market. Also, don't be naive and don't be ignorant. Don't just read straight. Sometimes you got to read to the left. Sometimes you got to be read to the right. You got to go back and all around. Why? There's a lot of connecting the dots. You hear me say this all the time. Connect this dot with that dot. And if this does connect, then this happens. But if these do not connect, then you're going to go this way. Does that make sense what I'm trying to say? Lilium is super cheap right now. And I'm just letting you know, none of this is financial advice. This is completely 100% entertainment and education purposes only. This is the price of Lilium right now. The price is just $4. The market cap is now $1.16 billion. Over the last five days, it actually is up 3%. At one point, I was getting it right here, and it was up like 20% or so. Over the last month, we're up 2%. And over the last six months, we're down 60%. I like to see that we're down 60%. Why? I'm getting into it at a very, very low point near the 52 week low. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something not only about the stock, but actually how to analyze stocks and do your research. Financials in this case don't really matter so much because this is a YOLO play. What does the YOLO play mean? You can't establish price or anything based on anything. Right now you're buying into a company, in my personal opinion, based on a dream based on what can happen later. Lilium's reality does not exist today. It can exist in the future, and that's what you're banking on. And if that reality does come in, this company could do 5x, 10x, 50x, 100x. It's possible. It could even do more. It quite possibly could be the future Tesla of the air. And the reason they're so small is that they can take off on any helicopter pad, right? So you don't need a special launch pad. And all major cities in America have launch pads for helicopters. A lot of buildings have launch pads for helicopters. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to give me the likes, the shares, and the subscribe. And one more time, I love you all. Have a great, great weekend.